We all have this deep inner yearning for connection. We are designed to connect with another, to share, to exchange, to give, to learn from another. We want to feel supported and we enjoy supporting others. We all want to belong. And yet, all too often, we can't find this deep feeling of belonging, not even in our family of origin or our relationships, our friends. We feel alone sometimes. And it makes us contemplate about what deeper connection truly is. How does it show? Let's go back to the understanding of ourselves as spirit beings. Let's contemplate about what it actually means to be a soul with a body rather than a body with a soul. If we are not our body, then that must mean that we are of spirit. And if we are of spirit, it means that we are part of the great spirit, if you will. And if that is our true being, can 3D, our physical life that we are experiencing with our body here, be our true home? Can it ever give us the feeling of true belonging? If what we truly are is of spiritual nature? What if we have a spirit home? After all, if we are of spirit, we had to be somewhere, we had to come from somewhere before we chose to attach to this body. What if our true home and our true belonging is in the spirit world? What if we have a soul home and perhaps even a soul family? Do you know this feeling? When you miss someone that you don't even know, this deep inner yearning to belong to them, what you are feeling is your soul yearning to connect with its own soul home, with its own spiritual home. What if part of our confusion is that we try to find this deep connection in the wrong place. Now that said, we all want community, we all want relationship, we all want connection with other souls. And we want it here in 3D as well. What if we got this all wrong? What if what we truly want is a connection from soul to soul? What if this deep inner yearning, the longing for having this deep unconditional love for another that we want to express in our daily lives but often can't? What if our seeking for safety, for validation, for outer love is where we get confused. If our true origin is in the spirit world, how can we communicate with the spirit world? How can we exchange, share? How can we send postcards to our soul home? The answer lies in connecting with our own light, with the spirit essence, the divine essence within ourselves. But 
this communication doesn't go through thought or intention, it goes through imagery. We communicate our essence through what we carry in our heart, our sentiments, our emotions, our attitudes, our alignment, and our virtues and their expressions. So today, the daily empowerment is about showing you the importance of connecting with your own spirit being, your own light, so that you can feel something like a true and more unconditional way. So today's empowerment message for you is to shift your perspective and your seeking to it the inside, to it your inner light. And remember that when you connect with your light, your light increases, your light lights up. You become visible for all other light beings. And your energy, your capacity for light, your capacity to love and to bring all your virtues into expression increases. And it can increase to a point where it makes it possible for other awakened souls to find you. It's not mystical, it's not magical. It is you stepping into your true being that connects you with your true origin. Try this with me. Take a deep breath. I love the light. I trust in the light. I am light. I always was, and I always will be. It is where I'm from, and where I will return. In me, I feel connected to all there is. Thank you for connecting with your own light and lighting yourself up for me to see you. I will see you again in your daily empowerment message tomorrow. Thank you for sharing in the comments. Let us know how these messages make you feel. Bye-bye.